Yeah. Uh, you know, number one cause of death in Texas is uh, child sacrifice, it's abortion, it talks about it, so um, we're trying to expose it and make it illegal, so. I don't have a problem with you guys, you know, you know free speech, yeah. but this is a school. Yeah. It's not okay. Well, if you went to a, um, if you went to the abortion clinic and watched who was having abortions, for the most part, it's, it's young girls and a lot of them are in high school, so I hate seeing them walk into the abortion clinic, kill their baby and then walk out man it's like the saddest thing in the whole world so we try to expose the problem because abortion is the number one cause of death in texas over sixty thousand every single year so we're just trying to bring awareness to it what's that why do you have a kid out here whose kid is that he's my son yeah yeah so he wants to help he wants to just like joe right here he's my son you're like a hospital though right yeah like yeah. he understands this stuff he understands it too. You know, in fact, a two-year-old will understand it. Mommy shouldn't kill their babies. Like, it's a simple thing. Can I give you some literature? So, thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, nice rainbow flag. So, Is this a church doing go. it? Well, we are Christians. Yeah, I'm a Christian too, but that's... All right, and you're, so you, are you okay with abortion? None of my business. Because I'm not going to abort my baby if I have I wouldn't do that. But that's but that's what they said about life. slavery, about black people in Texas. They said, hey, if you're against slavery, if you're against owning black people, don't do it. It's none of my business. Like, I wouldn't do it. But that's wrong, right? Like, we should actually oppose evil and wickedness. But, like, you're doing it outside of a high school. Like, you could have words on there, but, like, you have graphic pictures. Like, look yeah. At this is the number one cause that, of death. That disgusted me. I was eating when I was in the car, and I saw that. It's disgusting, right? This is what happens. You're more disgusted about the picture than what actually happens, right? Like you even said, it's none of my business. Well, now it is your business. Now you get to see the proof and the truth of it. You know, this is legal. So what we say is the body inside your body is not your body. So you don't have the right to murder your own, your own kid. Yeah. You know, so could I, could I give you some literature, man? Please say you're a Christian. Look at it. Throw it away after you're done. But please read it. Think about it. Because what we're trying to do is we're trying to get people to think about, like, opposing it and, and treating women with respect, right? And treating all people equally. Like, people in power shouldn't be able to decide what we do with people who don't have any power. People that don't have a voice shouldn't be controlled by people who have a voice. You know, like, the Supreme Court said that black people are only three-fifths human. They're not fully human. So we can rape them, we can murder them, and we can kill them. That's what the Supreme Court of the United States said. The United States went to war. Is there proof for that? What's that? Is there proof for that? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, look in your history book. So, um, it, literally, that's what the, the Supreme Court said, that black people are only three-fifths human. So it was legal to own black people in Texas. Texas was a slave state, right? And you could actually buy somebody. Like, I, I could go to the trade center and buy a black woman and rape her and cut her head off if I didn't like it. And you know what? It was totally okay. There was no law against it. And Christians were going to church every single Sunday and said things just like what he said. Well, I wouldn't own a slave. It's none of my business. That's what but Christians would... can't stop what other people are doing, though. Yes, you can. We do it all the time. Like, it's illegal for you to murder him. You can stop that. It's illegal, right? Yeah. Oh, so, yeah, that's the number one cause of death in Texas. Over 60,000 times every single year. Give you some literature. Number Thanks. One. Yeah. Lorenzo, you're a dick. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were a Christian. Yeah. Why are you, why are you calling him names like that? Because we're friends. <laughs> we don't... We know we don't mean it. He's called... Okay, him. good, 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 good. All right. I wouldn't actually insult him. I just feel like <laughs> yes. it's not right. To like, but it's just outside of the high school. It's just... It's yeah, just, right. And I feel like... I, I understand that you're trying to make it aware because it's mostly high school girls who do it. But yeah. You should make it a thing for... Well, they know. I mean, it goes on, right? They already know. The parents already know. I mean, the parents grew up knowing that it's the number one cause of death in Texas. I mean, literally 60,000. Like, you know what 60,000 babies like this would look like? A pile? How big a pile? You know they use semi-trucks to take the dead babies away? And nobody cares. The Christians don't care. Nobody cares, man. So, and, and nobody should be able to murder anybody. And we, and we do legislate a lot of things. Like, you can only go 20 miles an hour down here. Because why? Because people go too fast, it kills people. Well, 
you know so we do we do a lot of that so we don't think that babies who don't have a voice should be murdered like we should speak out for them the bible even says that speak out for the voiceless hold back those being led to the slaughter you know the most important thing we can do is love god with all our mind soul strength and, and uh love our neighbor as ourselves right all right can i give you some literature so how you guys doing so abortion is the number one cause of death in Texas, over 60,000 every single year. Can I give you guys some literature? This one talks about rape. A lot of people will say, well, what about rape? Can you have an abortion in case of rape? And it talks about it, how, you know, you can't tell the difference between a baby that was created in rape and one that wasn't created in rape. And which baby should, should be murdered, right? Because we believe that abortion is murder, that you're actually taking somebody who has no power, no strength, no voice, and de- people who have power determining who lives and who dies and we don't think anybody should be able to do that you know? yeah i feel like that's just like killing somebody that's like me just killing her right now it, it's the same thing <laughs> yeah yeah so can i give you guys one too how you doing sir thank you i appreciate it can you give me one you're okay yeah. all right yeah so well i appreciate you guys listening thanks thank you god bless Hey, man. Hey, I commend y'all on doing this stuff. Thanks, man. Yep. Yeah, it's the number one cause of death in oh, Texas. Yeah. So we're trying to make it yep. illegal. And, I, uh, I love what y'all are doing. So, thanks, bro. Little Elm Society, uh, Abolitionist Society of Little Elm, man. Thanks. Yeah, check us out. Abolitionist Society of Little Elm. So, I will. You know? All right, God bless, man. Yeah.